ang ating tiny home here in Madeline's Bill. Okay, so as what you can see, sobrang cute ng lugar guys. No? So mag quick tour lang tayo. Okay, currently si Jen nagpa-prepare ng coffee. No? Kasi nasa Alfonso Cavite pala ito guys. No? So malapit na sa Tagaytay. Technically 10 minutes lang to from Spendido, Tagaytay. Kaya napakalamig ng panahon dito guys. Okay, so itong tiny house na pagsestayan natin for a night. May kita nyo guys, no? Merong sink. So, pwede kayo magluto dito pala. May induction. Then meron ding rice cooker. Then meron din dito mga panluto guys, no? Provided rin naman guys yung mga plates. Okay, may mga utensils dito. Fork and spoon. Okay, then may mga pots din. It's really a unique experience, no? especially if you want to get the feel of living in a tiny house. May mga books. May mga books guys. So, then may mga board games din dito. So, hindi kayo mababor guys na pag dito kayo magsistay. Complimentary coffee and tea and complimentary water. Okay, then may electric kettle din. We brought coffee grounds. So, ito yung electric kettle. Refrigerator, personal ref. Then, tignan natin ngayon guys yung toilet and bath. Kaya tiny home, surprisingly spacious naman guys yung toilet and bath. Ito yung toilet. hot and cold shower then may na may naman towels dito guys so sobrang linis dito guys no so ito ang ating tiny house for a night here in Madeleinesville dito sa Alfonso Cavite it's very relaxing here and really safe for social distancing kasi so makikita nyo like ngayon tatlo lang naman yung available na accommodation dito okay so yun pala nagpa-prepare pa rin si Jen ng kape Gawin naman natin next guys, akyat tayo. Kasi kung may kita nyo, love type to guys, no? Okay, so ito yung mattress guys. So I guess this is queen size. Okay. And may television din. Okay, LCD TV. And maganda yung interior guys, no? Nung tiny home nito. Very neat and clean. Okay? And who would have thought na pwede pala lahat ng mga kailangan mo sa isang bahay magkakasya dito sa tiny home. Okay guys, so so far, we like yung tiny house dito sa Madeline's Bay. We're staying here for overnight and we're just so happy na nabook natin to guys kagabi na via Airbnb. Kasi sobrang fully booked to lagi. So if you want to stay here, make sure to check yung link below ng Airbnb to book your Madeline's Bay tiny house staycation. Maganda dito guys, no? may mga hammocks where you can hang out and relax. Okay guys, so pumasok muna tayo dito sa tiny house natin. Eh napakalamig ng hangin guys, no? since malapit lang naman to sa Tagaytay, 10 minute drive away. So sobrang lamig dito ngayon and unfortunately wala ako dalang jacket. Okay. So, mag-edit muna ako ng video maya-maya. Mag-dinner na tayo. By the way, they don't have a restaurant here and they don't serve food. Meron namang kitchen dito guys. No? So, perfect naman talaga. If you love cooking, luto na lang kayo dito ng food ninyo for dinner and for breakfast. Okay, but in our case, nag-take out tayo. No? Kanina kumain tayo sa Amadeo Cavite, dun sa Ricardo's. So, nag-take out tayo ng pasta doon for our dinner later. Pakita ko sa inyo yung dinner natin mamaya. Masalap yun guys. Okay, but for now, all I can say is I'm highly recommending tong Madeline's Bill 
in since it's really a unique experience to stay in a tiny house and yung owners themselves are very very nice nagkipag interact talaga sila sa mga guests no nagkipag kwentuhan sila and they're very accommodating and friendly Okay guys, alas 7 na, time for dinner. Ang dinner natin guys, no, ito in-order natin sa Ricardo's. Pwede na tinakeout natin. Meron tayong chorizo pasta at meron tayong alige pasta. So, abang sarap nito guys. Okay? So, kain tayo. Nandito tayo ngayon sa loft ng ating tiny house for a night. Hey guys, ang namig pa rin dito ngayon sa Alfonso, no? dito sa Madeline's Bay. Labas tayo guys kasi nagpapabot fair sila dito pag gabi. Hey guys, kakatapos na natin mag bonfire no? and we're glad na we have met yung ibang guests dito. Sobrang bait ng couple na nakakwentuhan natin kanina over the bonfire. Though di ako nakapag-take ng video na no? syempre to protect their privacy. And I guess it's 10pm na no, maya maya mag edit pa ako tapos matulog na rin tayo. Okay guys, so nasa kotse yung Christmas basket natin. So kanuha natin, this time mga gabi na natin yung mga laman like ito, mga snacks. Tapos may cheese din dito bukas for breakfast. Then may egg din tayong pinili kanina sa ating dahan. So yun yung bi-breakfast natin yung bukas. Saka spam pala. May pre-prepare si Jenny ng cheese sandwich. Tapos ako mag-e-edit muna ako ng video. Hopefully matapos ko tonight para ma-publish ko tomorrow. guys no so they'll soon have a pool here so hopefully matatapos na to agad by April this year guys may coffee fruit din pala dito sa Madeline's Village So quick review lang nitong Madeline's Ville here in Alfonso Cavite. So yung tatlong bagay that we like about this place is first the experience of staying in a tiny house. Okay, nakaka-amazing tiny house dito guys. No? It's 15 square meters lang pero kompleto na. So makita nyo may kitchen, then yung CR, yung toilet and bath is very spacious din. Okay, then may bed na, then may TV rin sila. So magagawa mo na lahat no? dito sa tiny house nila sa 15 square meters. So actually, na-inspire nga kami ni Jen, no? na nabalik yung dream namin to have a tiny home okay in a farm. Okay? Kasi ganun yung setup dito. No? So, it's really possible to live na sa maliit na bahay. Second is, napakabait ng hosts, guys. They're very friendly and very accommodating. So, you'll feel like you're part of their family. You feel like na nagbibisita ka lang sa relative mo. And third, very peaceful dito guys no? and very quiet. So, kung naghahanap ka ng lugar, kung na pwede mag-relax na malapit lang sa Manila, I'm highly recommending Madeline's Ville. Roughly, mga 2 hours or 2 and a half hours lang ito from Manila. Depending on traffic guys, no? kasi dadaan kayo ng Tagaytay area. Eh. Minsan sa Tagaytay, very traffic. Especially on weekends. So, I would suggest uh, booking this one on weekdays. Pero kami naman yesterday, uh, hindi naman kami na traffic, no? So, mabilis na naman yung biyahe dire-diretso. At isa pa, napakamura dito sa Madeline's Ville, guys, no? So, we only got our room for 3,100 plus via Airbnb. Okay, so lagay ko na lang yung link 
nung Airbnb booking na Madeline's Ville sa video na to, the description box, if you want to experience this place. Okay? So, ano pa ba? So, so far, we're really enjoying our stay here. Okay? Walang food kasi they don't serve food here. And di naman siya issue guys, especially kung nagluluto kayo. Kung di naman kayo nagluluto, may mga nearby restaurants naman dito. Just few minutes drive away from Madeline's Bill. And isa pa pala na gusto ko dito guys, na sobrang lamig dito. Okay, since technically Tagaytay pa rin ito eh. Uh, mga 10 minute drive away from Tagaytay, Nasugbu, Main Road. So maganda rin yung ano dito guys, yung climate, no? So, in fact nga, kagabi nag-bonfire kami kasi sobrang lamig talaga guys. Nasa 21 degrees Celsius yung lamig, tas ang hangin pa. Kaya so, sobrang sarap dito guys, mag-relax. Kalimutan yung mga problema, especially sa work. Okay? So, if you're stressed at work, I I'm highly recommending get stressing here, coming here over the weekend or on a weekday to relax. Okay guys, nakaalis lang natin sa Madeline's Field and sobrang iba yung experience guys no? so the best Airbnb experience we've had so far sobrang nakaka-inspire yung owner si Sir Ariel and si Madam Gurley okay, yung pangarap namin magkaroon ng sariling lupa and sariling tiny house na buhay ulit <laughs> so I just realized ngayon na hindi ko pwede mag-resign kasi kailangan mag-ipon for the lupa at sa tiny house sa papagawa natin. And I'm highly recommending yung Madeline's Field guys. No? So very relaxing and very iba. Iba talaga doon guys. So actually magbubuk ulit kami maya maya no? for our next visit sa Madeline's Field. So I'm highly recommending it guys.